Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last episode, uh, we show you how to convert the next cell lithium phosphate blade into a turbo battery. Uh, right after the, the video, I received several email, very useful email from customer um, providing very useful information. And that, in this video, we're gonna show you the second way, a, a second method to convert this turbo battery and might be easier for you. All right, so, uh, the differences between this new method is basically using this old uh, circuit board inside. See, the, uh, in the last episode, we, we teach you how to cut this and solder it and, and the, uh, poke into the, uh, the hole of the connector, then super glue it, right, to, to fix it in place. Um, some people find this is very difficult because the uh, tiny wire that you need to uh, insert it into the tiny hole, it's not that easy um, and take a long time. Uh, however, take a look at this. This is our circuit board and you can connect this to it easily, right? Clip in. And in, on the, in the back of this circuit board is the lead. Uh, if I peel this uh, thermal paste out, you will find this. And did you figure it out already? <laughs> you can basically just solder this wire to here, all right? Solder this and put this back in and use this as an adapter, right? It's an adapter, so you can easily solder it in, put this back into the place, remove this cell, and bend, plug it in. Then your BMS, your new BMS, will start working right out the box. Oh, in last episode, the customer also saying that I need to show the whole unboxing uh, process for this circuit board. Yeah, so I got this one instead of AliExpress, I, did, I got this from Amazon. Uh, the link is provided in the description below. Um, so this one is what, 30 amp. It has the thermal protection. And uh, yeah, it's a smaller, but I think it's cheaper too. I think it's less than $10, right? So. Basically, what we want to do today is to use the circuit board to convert to different shape of the connector from here to here, and then put a new BMS into this location. Let's get the job started. First thing first, the hexagon nut. All right, take the housing on the out. And since we're gonna keep everything, I don't need to cut anything here. Yeah, so what I need to do is just wait for the soldering iron to get hot and that start removing the assembly pads here. Yep, and I'm going to save some time and show you exactly what need to be done like this, nice and clean. And then you might ask, hey Jack, how about the circuit board inside? This is still connected, were it still functioning? Well, the answer is yes, it was still functioning as a balance board. It won't hurt anything because the power output is so small that you can just leave it there all day long and uh, keep balancing without any issue. However, if you have concern, if you think you don't need this circuit board, this balance board anymore, you just want to use the BBNS, then you can simply just cut a wire like I do right now, okay? You can cut through it so that you service the uh, connection. Give it some deep cutting, both top and bottom. Now, the only purpose for this board is being an adapter. <laughs> okay, so that's, uh, we finished the cutting and uh, this is ready to go. I think the digital, the small soldering iron is ready to go. So that's started soldering. And remember in the last episode, I told you we're gonna take out this first cell, therefore the black wire will not be useful, right? Black wire is the most negative one. So the most negative one that we don't need to solder. It means that we start from the second, from the 
right. We're gonna start on this one and solder it. Yeah, man, this is so much easier, huh? Yeah, that's wet this connector first because they have some residual of the uh, thermal paste on it. So this should make the job much easier. Just wet it first. Okay, now let's do it. All right, and count it right. This is the second. Wow, I'm loving this. <laughs> it's done. All right, then give you a tape to secure or insulate it. Damn, this is fast, okay. I like it, I like it, I like this method. All right, no, now just need to remove this cell and put a BMS in there. Let's clean up carefully, all right? Don't sure suck anything, all right? And we don't need a black cable anymore. The black wire can be cut. Yeah, cut, we don't need this anymore. Go. All right. Now this should be high enough, right? Let's give you a test. Yeah, it's very high. Okay. And like I say in the the last episode, this is in heavy insulated, so you don't need to worry about shorting this. Therefore, you can put needle nose plier over here. Of course. Don't touch the wire, you're gonna melt the wire, okay? So needle nose plier here and apply some heat. And remember, you only have like five seconds. Here we go. Same thing here. Melt it really good and then pop it. Here we go. These two are done. And the trip the tips I showed you last time, you can use anything to separate the glue to hold the cell in place. Alright, here we go. Now it's separate. And take your time, needle nose plier, slowly raise the cell. You can use this as a spare. Here we go. Okay, and now let's trim the copper. You don't need that many, not much anymore. Cut it and cut it. Okay. Oh. This is falling, so let me secure this, put the hexagon nut back in. All right. Now let's connect the BMS. Put in place B, connect to battery. B stands for battery, okay. Let's put in there. So far, so good. Oh, okay. So I need to put this back on. So let's loosen this has come out again. Yep, that will make the job much easier. All right, so give you a good space. And then before you drop in, Connect the circuit. Okay, and organize the wire. Here we go.
Haha. Now just a matter of connecting the B to the battery and this P to your application. Alright. And this time I didn't even cut the length of the wire because I don't think it's necessary. This is a 30 amp only application. The BMS can only support 30 amp. So I'm just going to solder it without any modification. Alright. Alright, let's wet this copper bus bar. Here you go. It's going to get hot, so let me just use my needle nose plier and soak it, melt it. B side is done. Let's work on the P side. Right. Soak it. <sighs> cool down. And we are done. Organize the wire as usual. I like a clean job. Of course, some insulation tape definitely help. The last step, take your voltmeter. Check for voltage. You have it, 12.96 volt. You have a 12 volt battery under 10 minutes for $10. All right, I hope this episode helped you. And if you figure something even better, even easier, please email me. All right, and I will shoot the video to educate all the customer out there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.